Dear friends, as we find ourselves in the midst of the coronavirus crisis that has taken over the world, it is a time when we need more guidance than at any other time, which is something we get from the Torah. <clears throat> in this week's Torah portion, by Yikra, we read something that I think is very pertinent for the general way of us confronting and dealing with this crisis in our lives. The Torah highlights what true leadership is. And the Torah talks about people of the greatest stature, the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, the leader, the Nasi, the leader of the Jewish people, the Sanhedrin, the lead court, who not only judged, but interpreted the Torah. If they made a mistake, they have to own up to their mistakes, and there's a process of how they're supposed to do it in a way that shows that they are not above the law and they're not any more privileged than the regular people. And we're told that blessed is a generation, blessed is a people who their leaders feel humble enough to understand that sometimes they make a mistake, sometimes they don't know. When we look around and everyone is watching on TV and on the internet and you're reading all types of reports and everybody's a pundit, everybody can tell you the answer of what's right, what's wrong, what's going to happen, it's like everyone has this uh, incredible vision and prophecy of exactly when it's going to end. Does anyone really know? Do we really understand? We know we're facing a pandemic that is unprecedented in our modern times. We don't really know. And we hope for the best. We try to do what is going to help curtail it as quick as possible. But do we know the answer of the date that's going to suddenly disappear or become a non-issue? So this is the moment when all of us have to recognize we are leaders as well. We are all leaders in our home, in our lives. How are we going to lead ourselves? Are we going to just be followers and listen to the next piece of news and form our opinion based on who spoke louder or with more conviction or what the majority are saying? Or are we going to say, as the Rebbe once told Rabbi Lau, who came to visit the Rebbe in 1973, right after the Yom Kippur War, when the mood in Israel was not great, because though they won the war, they lost so many people. And the Rebbe asked Rabbi Lau, what is the mood in Israel today? And he exclaimed in Yiddish, the mood in Israel is such that they say, what's going to be? What's going to happen? Like, only fate will tell. And the Rebbe said, very seriously, that's not the way a Jew approaches things. A Jew questions, what can I do to make a difference? And that is how we have to act as leaders today. We have to realize we're not just part of a fate of what the next pundit says. What are we going to do today in our lives to make what we're experiencing not affect us negatively, to be able to take advantage of whatever opportunity is coming our way and to confront the difficult challenges that we are facing instead of just resigning, but taking the bull by the horns and trying to turn it around in our lives to be a moment of growth, to be a moment of un unity, to come together, to give others support, most importantly, to give ourselves support, to move forward and realize that we will come through with this. God is a great God and God is ultimately going to turn things around for us and hopefully we will be much better off then than we are today. So be a true leader in your life, in those who are around you. And that's the conviction that we have where it's all right if we don't know, but at least one thing we do know is what I do control is my life and what I'm gonna do today and how I'm going to think today. So let's think positive, let's be forward thinking, forward moving, and God willing, we will turn out in a much greater way. And may you all join me in my prayer that everyone who has been struck with the sickness should be healed completely and fully. No one else should get any part of this sickness. And we should be healthy and well amongst all people of the world. I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Have a beautiful Shabbat with your family. God bless you. God loves you. We love you all. Shabbos candlelighting time in Montreal, 6.58 p.m.